practicing on a constant basis is a lot more important than just practicing, say, two hours once in two weeks. If you practice 10 minutes every single day, you'll see that you progress much faster. So my suggestion is for you to go through some or all of my exercises through the practice along sections every single day, if you can, when you have time, and take one or two of the uh, groove rhythms and practice and learn them, say one a week or two a week or one a day, depending on how much time you actually allocate to your practicing. Remember that speed is a result of great technique and not the other way around. So it's very important to focus from the beginning more on your technique and getting your strokes right than to try to do everything really fast but really sloppily. Eventually, without trying, your speed will follow if your technique is really good and you keep practicing. Getting a really solid foundation on the super, super basics is going to excel your learning as you advance on to more difficult strokes and difficult things on the cajon. So make sure that you get everything right from the start so that you don't have to unlearn really bad habits later on in your cajon career. When you do practice, I would suggest having a mirror in front of you, making sure that you play your bases in the right position as well as your highs and keep a really good technique throughout all your practicing sessions. Try to keep your back straight. It is very important to be very conscious of a straight back, especially the, the top part of your back. You should try to wear something really comfortable. If you like wearing tight clothes or tight trousers, try to wear something that's really stretchy so that you've got maximum flexibility to be able to have a lot more variety as to how and where you're going to place your feet, your body, your whole posture. Remember that it will take a little bit of time for your body to adjust to its correct seating position. So don't be too worried if you don't get it right off the bat from the beginning, your body will learn where and how to actually adjust itself to get a good sound. But important, again, keep your back straight and remember to play your strokes in the right position on the front board of the cajon. Now it's very important to relax your hands when you do your strokes, just because when you're tense, it's really hard to do anything properly, especially when it comes to any physical work, which is what the cajon is. So playing the cajon is extremely physical and like any physical activity that you do, especially if you're going to be practicing daily or playing a lot of cajon uh, or playing regularly, I would suggest that you kind of stretch a little bit before you start playing. This isn't only going to actually um, help you to kind of warm up before you play, but on the long run, this is going to help you and aid in your posture, in you being more aware of your body and just kind of, you know, getting in a right position before you even start playing. Try to over-exaggerate your movements, especially when you're doing the strokes with the one hand or the other hand, as we do when we start training our muscles to do something that it's not used to doing. You will see that the same principle applies just in smaller movements as you do start playing the cajon more regularly. If you're left-handed, I suggest you do all of these exercises starting on the left hand just because that's your strongest hand and you lead stronger with the left hand. Uh, but ideally, you'd like to do all of these exercises with the right hand lead and with the left hand lead. Invest in a metronome. There's metronome apps that you can put on your smartphone if you have a smartphone. And it's so worth it. Wherever you are, you can just put the metronome on, start at a really slow speed when you're practicing. Once you have that really well done, move up to the next speed. And this is, um, this is really my suggestion for practicing. And this is the way I learned and the way that generally the best way for you to learn and to improve faster. And by doing so, you're going to gain a lot of speed at a tremendous rate. If you focus on getting 
all of your strokes really even, um, make sure that you're in the time and when we go through our practice along section it's played with a metronome we start really slowly and we'll go over a few different speeds so that you guys can get the hang of it. Just remember to focus on having a correct uh, technique for instance the hand placement and using either the wrist for the highs or the arm for the bases and make sure that you're kind of in time which is very important for you if you want to be a drummer. Just enjoy hearing a really good sound from your cajon. I am extremely confident that as you guys go through and progress through this video course that you'd see a tremendous, tremendous acceleration in your technique and in your playing and by the time you have gone through the entire course and you've developed a good strong practicing foundation that you would see that you become the greatest cajon player that you still could be. I really hope you guys enjoy these video lessons and thank you very much for joining me on my modern method for cajon.